everyone. I'm Catherine with Free Tours by Foot, and today I'm at the Metropolitan Museum of Art on Fifth Avenue, better known simply to most people as the Met. So I am on Fifth Avenue right in between 81st and 82nd Street. You can see probably quite a crowd of people behind me, which makes a lot of sense because the Metropolitan Museum of Art is one of the most visited art museums in the entire world. This museum was founded in 1870, and it houses over 2 million works of art in its permanent collection, curated among 17 different departments. So if you are an art lover, this museum is probably top of your list as a place that you have to see on your trip to New York City. With good reason, it is an absolutely fantastic museum. Visiting here and really maximizing the experience does take a little bit of planning, so that's what I'm here to help you with today. So the first thing to know is as of right now, you actually have to have a reservation for a specific time to visit the Met. You can make these reservations online. Uh, availability is generally pretty good from day to day, but that's something you're going to want to plan ahead for. Another thing to note are the museum's hours. Generally speaking, the museum is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m., with extended hours into the evening on Fridays and Saturdays. However, at the time of this video's filming in August of 2021, the museum was not quite back to regular hours, so be sure to check the museum's website for any updates. Likewise, social distancing and mask wearing were in effect, as well as the requirement that all visitors be vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus. The museum's website is the place to check for any updates on these requirements. So like I said, you do have to make a reservation currently in order to visit this museum. You can do that by going to their website. Uh, when you are on their website, you will then start to see a list of a few different options for ticketing. Um, it might, you might need a little help deciphering which ticket is the one you need to buy. So let's jump in. You will need to get a regular general admission ticket. And the good news is you can do all of that right there on their website. So you will make a reservation for your specific date and time. Something else to note if you are on their website is you're gonna see two different options. You're going to see something that says Met Fifth Avenue, and you're going to see something that says Met the Cloisters. Um, if you're not sure what they're referring to or which one is this museum, this is the Met Fifth Avenue. This is the main location. This is the one most people know of and probably the one you have in your mind that you want to visit. The Cloisters is well worth a visit too. It's not here on Fifth Avenue. It's all the way up in Upper Manhattan in Inwood um, in Fort Tryon Park. And that collection is primarily European medieval art. So a little bit more specific than this museum here, but something to check out if that sounds like a thing you would be interested in. For most people, you'll be selecting Met Fifth Avenue. Um, and you can select a general admission ticket and you'll be able to complete the whole transaction there on the website. Like I said, you will be able to pay with a credit card there on the website. They will send the tickets to you. And so all you have to do when you get here on your specific day and time is show them your ticket. You can walk right in. It will be that simple. Also note, there are discounts available for that general admission ticket. There are discounts for seniors, there are discounts for students, and children under 12 are free. So keep that in mind as you're booking tickets for whatever people you are traveling with. Make sure you don't pay more than you need to uh, and you get the best deal possible on visiting this. One pro tip is to consider using a tourist discount pass to enter the museum. It is included for free with the purchases of the New York Pass, City Pass, the Sightseeing Pass, and the Go City Pass. Tourist discount passes combine tickets for the most popular attractions like museums and observation decks, sightseeing tours, double-decker buses, and boat cruises, all for a discounted price. Compared to purchasing tickets for each individual entity, these passes will save you anywhere between 20 and 55 percent depending on the type of pass that you buy. We have a blog post that explains in detail how these passes work, the pros and cons of each type, as well as providing discounts on the passes themselves. Also have a video that we produced that does the same, so links for both are in the description below. Up until very, very recently, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, along with the Museum of Natural History over on the west side of Central Park, were pay-what-you-wish museums. You could pay whatever amount you wanted. Um, that has unfortunately come to an end. Um, these museums do actually have a set admission price now, unless, at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, unless you are a resident of New York State, 
or a student that attends school in New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut. If any of those categories apply to you, you can actually still pay what you wish. Uh, you do still have to make a reservation in advance though. So all of the ticketing policies still apply to you. You'll go on the website, you will see the option to click on pay what you wish. I'm a resident of New York or a student in New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut, and you'll click on through. Please note that when you do this, you are making a reservation. You are not completing your ticketing purchase though. So you'll still have a step to do when you arrive here at the appointed date and time. When you get here, you will go to one of the museum desks. You will show them your identification, verifying that you do actually qualify for this pay what you wish option. And then you will pay them right there at the museum. So you're not just going to be able to walk right in when you arrive here, something to factor in timing wise. Once you've gotten past ticketing, just a few other tips uh, to really make the most of your visit here to the Met. Um, first of all, like many museums in New York City, they don't allow really large bags as you go throughout the museum. They will make you check a bag. So best really to just leave them at home. Plan ahead, only bring what you need. Um, like many art museums, they will allow some photography, they will not allow any flash, and they will not allow you to take video of any kind inside the Met. Um, the other recommendation I have, and I would tell anybody coming to visit the Met for the very first time, really, really make a plan. <laughs> um, even if you are planning on coming for the entire day, you're gonna get here at 10 and you're gonna stay all the way until they close at five o'clock, you still wouldn't be able to see everything inside this museum. Remember, I said over two million works of art. So grab a map or even better yet, go on their website before you get here. Prioritize what you really want to see the most so that you can make a plan, get a map as soon as you arrive, and make sure you're going the most logical way possible so that you're not zigzagging all over the place. Um, some people do find this a bit of a maze when they get inside and find themselves turned around. I'll admit it's happened to me more than once. If that does happen to you, their docents are very nice and very knowledgeable. So don't be afraid to ask somebody to point you in the right direction of the exhibit that you want to see. A popular way to explore the museum is by taking an organized tour. In normal times, the Met offers free, daily, hour-long museum highlights tours, as well as tours that focus on specific exhibits, all led by docents. Additionally, there are sightseeing companies that offer guided tours inside of the museum. Although they aren't free, these tours offer small group sizes, and some take place when the museum is closed to other visitors. There are also audio guide options available. The Met provides an audio guide for anyone who might be interested in this endeavor. The audio guide includes over 3,000 different clips about various works of art that you will find in this museum. All you need to do is download the app to your smartphone. If you do not have a smartphone, you can get an audio guide player at the museum with a fairly low rental fee. We have a web page that we regularly update that lists all of the tour options that are currently available, so be sure to check that out. Just for your knowledge, as you start to look at the different options available, different exhibits, they're arranged in some different ways. Some of them are done geographically, such as the Egyptian collection. Some of them are done by the style of art, such as the Impressionist wing or the costume gallery. Um, so you'll see both of those as you're looking at the options on the map. So really plan ahead. If you are gonna spend the entire day, don't worry, you don't even have to leave to eat. There actually is a restaurant right here in the museum uh, and they have lots of different options. It's there on the ground floor. So if you need to just stop and take a quick break for lunch without even leaving, you can do that and you can spend your entire day here at the Met. And when you're finished, there are a lot of things nearby that you can do, including some other museums along Museum Mile, including the Guggenheim Museum. Or you can explore Central Park right next door. We have several videos and guided tours of the park, as well as an audio tour that you can use to discover what lies inside. You're also just a short ride away from the Roosevelt Island tram. We just did a video on riding the tram and exploring Roosevelt Island that you can check out. And of course, you are just a subway ride away from Times Square and Midtown Manhattan, where there are too many things to see and do to even mention here. We have videos and posts on both as well. But whether you only spend a few hours or the entire day, if you are an art lover, it is not to be missed. It is one of the most visited art museums in the world for a reason, and it's because it's wonderful. So go online, reserve your ticket, um, and don't miss out on the Met. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.